So this is definitely one of my favorite books. It's called The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. I remember it being read to me when I was a young person. I remember reading it to other young people. And it's about a tree that just gives and doesn't want anything in return. And it's a relationship with a young boy. And what's a loving story about it is the tree is always giving. Do you have any people in your life who are just always giving you things? Not just physical things, just their presence and their love. Let's explore. Once there was a tree who was waiting out in the floor all alone. He had his leaves over there, but he was wondering, would someone come and spend some attention with me? And she loved a little boy. Look him as he walks right by. You can't see, but maybe you can. And every day the boy would come again and again. And again and again, he was really happy to see this tree. You can even see the branches are opening up like arms that are waiting for him. And he would gather all of her leaves and make them into crowns and play kings of the forest. Our imagination is our great power force. He would climb up her trunk Look at him, go, go, up, up, up. He would swing from her branches. Look at his feet hanging out and his shoes just fell on the ground. And eat apples, so many apples. And they would play hide and go seek. Did you ever know that any apple seed that you see cannot be planted to create an apple tree? Cause actually it's doing something that you call putting a branch on another tree and then it will grow the apples that you want to eat. And they would play hide and go seek from time to time. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade to calm his mind. And the boy loved the tree so very much. They were in love with that loving touch. Very much me plus tree. And the tree was also very, very happy. But the time went by. And if you could look in his eyes, he was looking a little bit sad. Wondering, is my whole life with this tree only? And the boy grew older. And if you see, there are two more feet who were there. It was me and tree, and now it is me plus Y and L. So he grew older, wondering, will this tree be always there? And the tree was often alone as time went forward. And then the boy just disappeared. Where did he go? And one day, the boy came to the tree, and the tree said, Come, boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing me from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy, but I want to buy things and have some fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I only have leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money, and you will be happy. What a giving tree. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away to see if he could make this tree so happy. And she was happy. The tree was happy, but the boy stayed away for a long, long time, and the tree was sad. And then one day, the boy did come back, and the tree shook with joy. And she said, come boy, come boy, come up my trunk, and swing from my branches and be a happy hunk. I am too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm. He said, I want a wife, I want children, so I need the house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but if you want, you may come to cut off my branches and build the house. Then you will be happy. 